Mountains, the real end of the world, nothing but wind and snow. I hoped to find peace here, away from people. I hoped to escape my past, to run away from my fears. But things didn't turn out the way I planned. No one took my stories about the Sandman seriously. But every time I went to bed, I remembered his face and his promise of revenge. Now the day has come that my nightmare becomes real and my husband, Tim, his next victim. The victim of the Sandman. And I need your help again. It's you. At last you've come. I feel like I've been waiting a lifetime. I'm sorry to have summoned you, but the thing is, Tim, my, my Tim, he, they brought him here to the hospital. He's in a coma. I'm not allowed to be with him. I, I tried to explain to them that this is not an ordinary coma, but they don't believe me. They hustled me out and locked the door. We must save Tim while we still can. Please help me. did it. We must hurry before it's too late. His ward is at the end of the corridor. We haven't seen each other for a long time. I can do a lot more than I used to. I'm going to stop time now so you can pass the doctors unnoticed, but I can't hold it for long, so you have to hurry. Ready? Time is starting to slow down.
Please, no! Leave me alone! You're alive! Please, I beg you. We must take him away from here quickly before the Sandman gets to him. Or, or else... Wait. Something's not right. Laura. Baby. Have you forgotten? You can't use the power to help yourself. <laughs> 